This is the third in a series of training bites covering the control and customization of UVM reports. If you haven't already, we recommend you take the first training bite on the basics. This covers the terminology and the functionality of UVM reports, as well as giving you some useful tips on message defines and some basic guidelines. But in this training bite, we're going to have a look at methods and command line options for changing and controlling the severity of your reports. So why would we want to do this? So for example, perhaps when I'm integrating some UVCs into my environment, I'm hitting fatal messages during build phases and connect phases. Perhaps the interfaces are incorrectly connected. Now if I downgrade those fatals to be errors instead, it means I can detect more problems in a single simulation run. Instead of stopping every time I hit a fatal, I can do a run perhaps all the way up to the run phase and see all of my problems in one go and fix all of my issues in one simulation run. Remember, a UVM simulation will stop automatically at the beginning of the run phase if any error messages have been reported prior to the run phase. So by downgrading our fatals in any phases previous to run, by making them errors instead, we can detect more issues in a single simulation run. Now I'll show you both code and command line options for controlling and changing severity. These behave in different ways, so it's just worth refreshing their differences. So first of all, code options. These make calls to UVM methods. You can apply these to a component using a hierarchical path name. And the way to control these is to put them inside of a test class. And then you can enable or disable them by switching to different tests. Now for the code options, if you have multiple settings for an individual component, these conform to a last one in wins. So the last setting executed overwrites all the previous settings for that particular component. The other option is to use command line settings. These take precedence over the code settings. They're applied at the highest level of the UVM environment inside of the UVM root level. The nice thing about these is they're dynamic. You can change them from one simulation run to, an e to the other without having to recompile your environment. And as we'll show you, you can put these in a run file for greatest ease of use. Now when you have multiple hierarchical settings on the command line, these conform to a first match methodology. So the idea here is if you set the UVC1 first and then you set everything below TB second, because the UVC1 hierarchy has already been assigned a value, it's a set and lock philosophy. Therefore, the second setting to everything below TB will not affect the UVC1 hierarchy. It's already been given a value. So let's have a look at the code severity control options first. There's two methods here. They're listed here in the order of precedence from low to high. We have a set report severity override, which changes all reports of a given current severity to be new severity. You can also change the severity by a combination of current severity and report ID using set report severity ID override to change those reports to a new severity. Now these method calls are not hierarchical. They only affect a single component to which they're complied. Also, these methods can be called using a hierarchical path name. So again, call these inside of a test class. It gives you the ability to turn them on and off by switching between tests. Now finally, be careful. If you upgrade a UVM info report, this does not change its verbosity. In the worst case, you could have a high verbosity UVM info report that you upgrade to a UVM underscore fatal. The UVM underscore fatal will stop the simulation, but because of the verbosity setting, the message will not be printed and you'll end the simulation without knowing why. So a good tip here, if you're going to upgrade a UVM underscore info severity to be something higher, also change its verbosity using some of the options we showed you in the previous training byte, change its verbosity to be UVM underscore none. If we have a look at the command line options, Again, these allow us to change the severity uh, to report at or under the hierarchical path name given to us by comp. We can specify the ID of the reports that we want to change and we'll change their severity from their current severity to a new severity. We can use the identifier underscore all underscore in either the ID or the current severity arguments to match all IDs or all current severities. And remember, if you have multiple command line settings which apply to a component, the first match only applies. 
So we have a look at an example here. Here we want to change the severity of reports under the YAP hierarchy with the ID no VIF, and we want to change them from fatals and downgrade them to a UVM underscore error severity. So again, we build a hierarchical path name down to our YAP component, use a wildcard here to pick up all of the components under the YAP hierarchy, specify our ID as no VIF, and we want to change the current severity of fatal to a new severity of error. Note that we could use the underscore all underscore in either the ID or the current severity arguments to match any ID or any current severity. Again, good tip is to put these command line options inside of a run file here, run.f. You can then execute them on the command line using the xrun option minus f, xrun minus f, run.f. Two reasons for doing this. First of all, you don't have to type in the command in full each time. And secondly, because we have wild cards inside of the path name, if you put this directly on the command line, you'd have to hide the wild cards from the command interpreter by putting quote marks around the entire argument list. Therefore, it's easier if you put them inside of a run file and then comment them out in order to turn them on or off for a given simulation run. Hey, so that was nice and easy. A couple of options there to control report severity. The next training byte in this series has a look at action control, how to change what happens when a report is executed. Further bytes in the series will have a look at file logging and also customization with the catchers and servers.